Welcome to Soul Infused Monday today. Welcome, I'm excited to be here with you. And if you're watching this on the replay and you are here right now, leave a comment below, say hello. If you're on the live show, do the same. Welcome to Soul Infused Monday. I'm your host, Sonia Bueno de la Torre. Today's topic is gonna be to remember just one very basic key component to fulfillment, to happiness that is often missed. And before we even jump in, I want to check in with you because last week I did a global meditation, a global life meditation, and some of you committed or joined the challenge to meditate for seven days in a row, holding the space for the global consciousness and inducing with the intention of love, compassion, and gratitude. And I'm just curious, who actually did it? Yeah, who did it? Who is here? And uh, I'm gonna just take a moment and uh, a little, one second, cancel. I'm gonna take a moment and wait for you guys to jump in. Let me know how you're doing. Say hello. And quick announcement for next week. Next week's Soul Infused Monday show is going to be a Q&A show. That's where you have the opportunity to get actually free coaching from me, where you can get your, ans your question answered. And there's a way to do that because I'm not going to answer all the questions I get. And for you to get your answer, your question answered, here's the best way to do that. First of all, like take a, have a pen and a paper. Just write like just you always want to have a pen and a paper when you're on the Soul Infused Monday show because you never know when a breakthrough hits, when insight crash, when inspiration is kind of like whoosh, crashing in. So you always want to have a pen and a paper when you're watching the Soul Infused Monday show. So as an announcement next week. I'm going to do a live Q&A show where I'm going to answer your questions. You, got, you, can, you send the questions to me ahead of time. And you send them to Sonia at beautifulyoublog.com. We're going to put that here in the description box. S-O-N-I-A at beautifulyoublog.com. And you want to send your question to me. And here's an important piece to the question. And then I jump on. So as people are jumping in, welcome to the Soul Infused Monday show. Happy to have you. Leave a comment below if you're here live. For next week's uh, Q&A session where you have the unique opportunity to get really free coaching from me on a very specific question on yours, you send that to Sonia at beautifulyoublog.com. When you send the question, here is, here is the key. Um, depending on how many questions I get, I will not get to back to all of the questions, but the more specific the question is, the more to the point the question is, the more likely I can actually help you. So I don't need a lot of backstory or a lot of stuff around, like what's the key, what's the essence of your question, um, and send that to me. And don't worry about, oh, is the question perfect or not? Like, use the opportunity. This is a unique opportunity to get my personal feedback that um, totally for free next Monday. And you want to send that to me ahead of time. Either you send me here a message on Facebook, you send me an email to sonia at beautifulyoublog.com. Make a note right now. Um, it can be a certain area of your life. It can be something very specific in your life. Um, and... Uh, Anything that is related, you can ask me anything, by the way. However, like obviously, if you have a question that is related to your own personal growth, to energy, to communication, life in general, anxiety, depression, whatever you are personally, business, uh, money, like something that you are dealing with where you might want to have a breakthrough, you have one specific question that send that to me, okay? And next Monday, I'm gonna answer life. And for those who don't send them, uh, and a question, here's the deal, show up life anyway, because I can't tell you how many times I keep hearing when someone asks a question and I answer it, they think like, oh my God, that's exactly what I needed to hear. So even if you don't send a question, join life, because those Q&A sessions are often extremely, extremely valuable and can go very deep. Hi Gail, I'm excited that you're here from the UK. Yes, okay, let's jump in. I, I think everybody's here. Grab a pen and a paper and send me a question. Maybe even a question come, you have already a question in your mind and or if not, 
It might pop up throughout the day or throughout the week and send it to Sonia at beautifulyoublog.com. Okay? Fantastic. So, <sighs> take a deep breath. Just take a deep breath and take a moment to let yourself be present. Set the intention to be present. Remove any distractions. Take a breath. Someone, don't, don't, uh, okay, I, uh, sorry, I, I still have hope here. Someone tried to, and I, I appreciate uh, to, uh, uh, to post beautifulublog.com. Facebook doesn't allow any links. So if you just write beautifulublog.com separate or something. I appreciate it, but I just got a note from Facebook. Um, I hope I'm still alive. So take a nice deep breath, come centered. One of, and I'm gonna talk about one, there's so many key components to happiness and fulfillment. I'm just gonna ponder on one today because I was thinking about it last week. And it's often very, like, it's kind of like underestimated, it's kind of missed. And especially this year has been a challenging year for many. It has been a changing, transformational, uh, reinventing. Uh, so many, many things have been different this year for many. And what I've been seeing over the year is, of course, there's always something in between, but there are kind of two main, kind of two people, main kind of people. Those who take it as an opportunity to reinvent, to reevaluate, to, to use that for, for an opportunity on those who are actually really just suffering um, and complaining. And there's no right or wrong, that's just what I see, right? And that key component, so such a basic key component to happiness and fulfillment ties in this year in particular because so many people actually are doing it without knowing and so many people are missing out because they're not doing it, right? So, and I was thinking about that because for me this year, a lot of the things that give me joy and fulfillment on a personal level, not like, you know, like my spiritual fulfillment in meditation and doing the work, like I'll still have that this year, but there were a lot of things that I couldn't do this year that bring me joy and happiness in some way. One of the things were dancing, and I was dancing. I was still dancing by myself, still joyful, and yet I missed traveling to dance events. I missed the socializing through dancing. And what I also missed is the keep learning, because I learned, I'm learning a new dance style from, since last year, and I missed the progress, I missed going and learn. So, and why I'm sharing this with you because it's part of the basic key. The basic one, choose one, one basic key to continuous kind of fulfillment and meaning in your life is to learn something new. It's so basic, you think, oh, duh, Sonia, that's the one thing, yeah to learn something new, but here's why. It's very important to understand also. To learn something new, and it is the progress that you experience within learning something new that gives you like a high, that gives you like an exciting energy. And you go through, of course, struggle, challenges. When you learn something new, you always suck at first. Like no one is just great from the beginning, right? So to learn something new and specifically the process of making progress is what really is a key component and i can uh, just on a personal note that i'm sharing with you how why i was pondering about this and why i want to share it with you so because i uh, really i didn't travel this year um i got to dance just by myself mostly um i did some online stuff as well so i did a, a lot of things that i could do but there was a period of time, especially in the last few months, where I felt like something was missing. I was just missing something on a deeper level that, that brought me that. I couldn't even grasp it until recently. So, and maybe you know this about me or not, but I am learning how to kite surf. This is a totally new project for me, a totally new skill. And I'm only learning it actually because of the pandemic, because I never wanted to do it. I was so filled with so many other good things in my life. And I thought it, it was very complicated, difficult, expensive, all of it, like many reasons why I didn't want to do it. So this year I had this one aha moment of, okay, 
can't travel, I'm not dancing, there's so many things I can't do. I need a new passion, I need a new project, I have the time right now, uh, I'm at the perfect space because where I live it's a huge kitesurf um, place. And I decided I'm gonna learn how to kitesurf. Why is this relevant? Stay there with me. Why is this relevant? It's relevant because it was extremely hard, I was terrified, I'm still kind of terrified sometimes when I go out, but I'm getting better. So in the beginning it was really hard. But what I realized or what I noticed just more consciously because I'm totally aware that that's true is the moments when I had a success moment, when I managed like progress, when I noticed, hey, I can, <laughs> I can hold the kite without being terrified all the time or I, I learned how to drag myself into the water, I learned how to get my feet into the board, like it sounds also basically it's just so challenging and at some point I broke, it's like I had a breakthrough in a sense, it's like okay I can see the light in the tunnel, I'm gonna get there and I went out of the water, I was exhausted, everything was hurting and, it's like, and I was so excited and I realized why I was so excited is because I was learning something new, completely new, outside what I've been doing. So you want to learn something that's completely outside what you usually do and it doesn't have to be expensive, it doesn't have to be dangerous, like this is, this is kind of like a dangerous sport. Um, that's why you want to learn it properly. But you want to you wanna, you wanna challenge yourself, you want to stretch yourself to learn something, not just for the sake of learning because naturally as nature like as as nature outside as well like regular nature oh, not regular nature nature itself we thrive to grow we thrive to grow nature wants to grow we naturally want to grow and expand and you can do that in any in many many different ways today i'm not even talking about spiritual growth itself although this Kind of like contributes to spiritual growth because you get to face whatever you face when you learn something new does that make sense guys so is this like, like does it make sense learning something new and allowing you to progress in something creates a level of fulfillment because we thrive to grow otherwise we stay stuck if we either we grow or we stagnate and that was so, I not like, I just experienced that uh, myself in a way, and I wanted to share that with you because I was talking to a lot of people, and uh, it's often so underestimated, or you don't even realize. So I'm, I'm inviting you right now, just take a moment, take inventory into, in your life, just inventory. Like when was the last time, and maybe you're doing it right now, so you're with me, you totally get it, but maybe you're not doing it. So when was the last time you allowed yourself to learn something completely new, to stretch yourself, to challenge yourself, to overcome fear, to overcome fear to do something and you, you, you kind of, you, you stay with it, you endure it and you, you, you progress. And then you have that exciting moment of, oh my God, I, I'm, I'm learning it, I'm getting there, I'm gonna do this. And energetically, it really, from an energetic perspective, it just ignites like a fire. And especially this year, and a lot of people have been reinventing themselves. So if you are one of those that you think, hey, I'm using this year to reinvent myself, this is the perfect time. Any time is a good time. You always wanna do that in some way. But if you currently have a sense of something is missing, I'm not quite fulfilled, and again, there's so many other reasons. This is just one point that I want to share with you. I know it's not going to fix, uh, you know, like maybe deeper issues that you get to work on and do the work. However, if you are on the, on the path, you've been, you, you, you know, like you're very aware, you're doing the work and yet you feel like something is missing. You feel like there's no purpose or less meaning or you feel st stuck or stuck, like, you know, like th something is not passionate enough just think about what you might want to do that you maybe something that you always wanted to do and you didn't or you're just completely open to something completely new 
and it can be completely for free. You don't even have to invest. Yeah, I'm investing time, money, you know, like need to learn it, equipment, a teacher and all of that. And I'm doing that very um, consciously because it's gonna pay off over time. And I can, I'm already excited for the day that I can just go out there by myself and be in the tango. Oh, Gail started to learn tango. I love it. Oh, of course, a new dance is fantastic. So what is it that you could start or maybe just ponder around it is maybe what's missing in your life just a sense of growth and progress in something in something and don't let it be don't overcomplicate it don't make it such a great huge thing oh my god i have to find the cancer to cure i have to find the cancer to cure <laughs> I have to find the cure to cancer or something oh my god that it puts you under so much pressure no something very simple super simple skill something I don't know it could be anything um, start one step at a time um, if you're not sure brainstorm with a friend Google around just ask yourself what do I enjoy doing and or what is something I've never even thought of doing what are my friends doing? Just let yourself be creative. And just for the pure, for the sake of having fun and joy to learn something new. It doesn't have to be something that you should, something good, valuable in the sense that the mind tells you, okay, I'm gonna learn um, something because you're attached to do something. No, you just for the pure sake of having fun and joy. Just for you. Just for you to experience a high, for you to experience a progress. And, and I can tell you, if you choose to do that, and you're learning something new, it's inevitable that you will have days and moments where you feel like, oh my God, I suck at this, I'm never gonna make it. Uh, this is terrible. Uh, depending on what it is, you might be terrified, <laughs> right? And I can only tell you one thing, stick with it. Persistency is key in life in general. Like anything, anything that you start and you commit to it, persist. And when you endure also the hard times, those are that are gonna give you the greatest gifts and blessings. And remind yourself, one of the basic keys really is growing and expanding. And it can be anything at any time. It doesn't have to be necessarily spiritual growth, right? Um, although, if you're on a spiritual journey and you're learning something new, I can tell you it will, it will make you grow spiritually as well. Okay, I hope this was valuable. I hope um, you got some inspiration. As a reminder, next week, Monday, live on the Soul Infused Monday show, I'm going to give you free opportunity to be coached by me one-on-one -on -one in the sense that you can send me your personal question about something, something that's relevant in your life. The more specific, the better I can answer your question. Depending on the questions that I get and the amount, I cannot promise that I'm going to answer all of them. However, I can promise I read them all and if they are specific enough that I can use that I use without having uh, to keep asking follow-up questions, I am going to give you the best of what I can. So in order to do that, send me your question. Send me a question by either sending me here a message on Facebook or send me an email to sonia at beautifulyoublog.com. Sonia, S-O-N-I-A, like my name, beautiful like beautiful, you like you, Y-O-U, blog like B-L-O-G dot com. Write on your subject line that it's a question for the Soul Infused Monday Show and let me know your question and how I can help you. Okay? So, um, before you jump off and go to expand or try something new, take a moment and tune in. What was the most valuable thing from today? What, what did you hear today that sparked something? What was your aha moment? The most or the biggest takeaway from today's show? What's your biggest takeaway from today's show? Before you leave, leave me a comment below and share. And I say this and you know repetition is key. 
If you've heard this before, imagine how many times I've heard this before, right? So here's the deal. Why should you share your biggest takeaway? Your biggest takeaway sharing means, first of all, you tune into what is your biggest takeaway. It will incorporate deeper, it will anchor deeper. By you sharing it, you're putting it out in the universe, like you put energy in there, it has more substance. Sharing it with others might help actually someone else to get another insight. Happens so often, so often, it's a give and take. And third, it's a win-win-win. Third, it gives me feedback on what's actually valuable to you, okay? So before you jump off here, leave a comment below, also if you're on the replay, and share with me what's your biggest takeaway, okay? It was a sweet, short show today. And um, let me see the comments. Um, a great seeing you today. Great seeing you today too, Barbara. Your energy gives me energy and food for thought. Love hearing that. Exactly what I want. Going back to exercising. Yeah, exercising. That's a good one. Um, Linda's takeaway, try something new. Great takeaway. Linda, another Linda. Linda's in the house here. How making progress can buy a... Uh, can, uh, maybe, I'm sure that's a typo. I will get it. How making progress... Ask to continue a new challenge in DVR. Can, yeah, uh, I, I get what you're saying. This one word that I can boy, um, that I didn't get. Um, Elizabeth, hi Elizabeth. Uh, her takeaway, find something that will help me experience learning and growth. Yes, absolutely. Oh my God, I can tell you, and it can be so simple. And stick with it and do it like, the moment when you have a breakthrough, the moment when you feel progress. And one little tip here, one little tip here, when you go on this venture, your inner critic will be right with you and it's never good enough, right? So focus on the progress, small step. Like for example, I give you an example, just be kite surfing. It's so, I mean, oh my gosh, I thought I would never learn it. Stay in the step you're in, stay in the step you're in, never think further. If any time I went further to, oh my God, but how am I actually gonna ride? I, I, I was lost, like my, stay in the step you're in, and celebrate the little steps. Like when I managed to drag myself out in the water, holding the, 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 the kite up there, having a board in my hand, dragging myself out there, managing to get the board in front of me and put my feet actually into the board. Like, even though I'm further than it's like, that I actually managed to do that and I can do this now way, way easier. It took me so long to get there. Just celebrate the steps and then you get one step ahead, one step and go always back celebrating the basics that you've learned. It, it's so much, it can create so much joy. And if you don't have this in some way in your life, in some way, it doesn't have to be a skill, it doesn't have to be a sport or a language, but some sort of growth and progress continuously in your life, you will have a sense of something is missing and you will not kind of like experience the joy that you can actually. Okay? All right. So this is it for today. Again, if you're just uh, watching or if you're in the replay, leave me a comment below. What's your biggest takeaway? And remember, and again, make a note right now. Make a note right now. Next Monday. Soul Infused Monday Show, live, you, 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 you have the opportunity to ask me a question and I will answer it for you. That's like free coaching, like my clients pay thousands of dollars to actually work with me one-on-one. -on -one. And if you give me your specific issue, like one question, don't make it too big, I'm not gonna fix your whole life in one question, obviously. But the more specific, the more you can break it down to the essence, send me that question and I will answer it for you next week, okay? Last but not least, let me see here. Much that I'm doing is challenge, though it lacks the fun and exciting component. Take away, look for the fun, and at least give me joy. Thank you. Yeah, Dolene, uh, not Dol uh, yes, Dolene. Super important key. Like, I thank you for sharing. So valuable. Um, we sometimes learn things that we kind of think we have to, or it's for a purpose that is not necessarily fun and joy. You want to learn something that is for the sake of joy and fun and excitement. Very well. Progress encourages us and lifts our self-confidence up to continue with the challenge. It's positive feedback. Yes, thank you, Linda, for clarifying that. Fantastic. Okay, thank you so much, guys. Enjoy the week. Stay uplifted. 
grow, expand, and come back next Monday. Whether you send a question or not, it's gonna be super, super valuable. Some of the questions that I will answer will just hit the, like will really hit you in the core, write what you needed. So enjoy the rest of your Monday, and I will see you next week. Much love.